If you enjoy the video and my content, please consider supporting my channel over on Patreon at patreon.com slash katedidart. Thanks so much! Wahaha! <laughs> Welcome back to Inktober 2018, day number 25. And today I am painting with my promptless theme of downpour. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this is a pretty simple theme. Um, the first thing that came to mind was uh, rain <laughs> and a lot of it, so that is what I decided to paint. I played around with this pose for a little bit and I got it to where I wanted it. Um, the sketch that I did, like the little thumbnail, ended up looking a lot better than this final sketch, at least as far as the pose is concerned. However, I don't think the pose is terrible, it's just something I would have to work on, but you know, I don't hate it, so there's that. So anyway, I had a lot of fun doing some wet into wet techniques with the rain, so I did a first layer and then after that I just kind of like blobbed in some darker color and it was really fun just to be messy and have fun and I've definitely enjoyed this Inktober for the fact that, um, you know, I've been being messy and having fun. So, I do want to talk to you guys about something that you may already know about because of the title. But, um, we're not going to talk about it right away because I do want to talk about the piece a little bit. So, if you stay tuned till closer to the end of the video, we're going to be talking about a giveaway that I'm going to be hosting. And I'm pretty sure you're going to want to be interested in that. So, uh, stay tuned till the end of the video. So, after I get all of this wet into wet layering done, I actually start putting on a lot of layers and it started peeling up a little bit. Um, so my bad. Uh, I flipped it over and realized that I really liked it. I don't know, this, I just think it worked really well. I don't even remember the specific colors I used. I think I used, I want to say teal and then the muted gray, uh, for the darker parts, but I'm not quite sure. If you want to know a specific supply list that I use in this video, I will have links down in the description below. Or if you want to know my general tips and supplies for Inktober, I will have a video pop up on the screen to where you can, uh, go check all that stuff out. So, after all of the water, <laughs> the rain is dried, I go in to pl plaint. How do you plaint something? I go in to paint my uh, flat layers of watercolor. This isn't watercolor, but I'm painting like watercolor. What the heck? <laughs> Ink. Oh my gosh. I'm all over the place today. I'm so sorry. Anyway, I'm flat layering these inks and uh, painting in her skin and all that stuff. And she looks super fierce. I'm just... I'm all about it. If you're interested in getting my 2018 Inktober art book, I will have a link on the screen to where you can go do so. Pre-orders start from now until October 30th for both my art book and my acrylic pens. My acrylic pens are basically like enamel pens, but they're made out of acrylic. They're going to be about an inch and a quarter tall, um, and I've got a few fun designs. I've got a tentacle heart, a witch, a mermaid, a vampire, and a ghost. So uh, don't let those uh, sneak up on you and get away because you don't want that to happen because once uh, pre-orders are over, the discounted rate goes down and you also don't get the pre-order bonuses after that. So if you're interested in any of those things, uh, link again is on the screen. So now I am just kind of painting again base layers. I'm doing some grass and having fun with painting more grass. I feel like it's been forever since I've painted some. Um, and uh, then we're going to work on the rest of her flat layers. I really liked this. Um, I did hit a little bit of a flaw later on and you'll see it and I'll point it out as we get there. But um, yeah, I think the biggest flaw for me is that one mess up. Everything else I really liked and I did have a lot of fun with and... Um, I've just been really loving my inks, and I'm almost out of my black ink, which is really sad, so I'm gonna have to pick up some more of that, um, soon. And I should probably use it more often, to be fair. Um, I swear, I wait till Inktober to whip out my Bombay inks, and it's a darn shame, because I, I fall in love with them every time, and then I'm just like, oh, but I can go back to Copics and watercolors now. <laughs> so... One thing I did flub up on um, that you're going to see me right now trying to fix is I accidentally painted over some of her arm and it was a really big flub and that is what causes my even bigger flub to come around eventually. Um, spoiler alert, I try to cover it up and it doesn't work so well. 
So yeah, um, I decided to leave it alone and go paint something else, and that something else was her outfit. Uh, just super simple loincloth-y type thing. <laughs> A lot of these women have them on, and I don't know, it's just... It's one thing, I guess, that makes me think of, like, swamp ladies, and I'm not really quite sure why. But, oh well, that's a thing. Alright, now for the reason that you probably clicked on this video, I am hosting a giveaway. So, I thought it would be fun to give back to you all, especially for all of you who have been really enjoying my Inktober and have w been watching them and have been supporting me throughout this whole daily upload thing. And I thought it would be fun to give back to you all. So, I thought that I could give away a copy of my Inktober art book. Now, it will not be the pre-order bonus version, so it will be just the book. But, to kind of up the ante a little bit, you'll also be getting last year's Inktober books. So you'll be getting two books um, for this giveaway. <laughs> Um, this will be an international giveaway, so no matter where you are in the world, you can enter and you can win. Um, yeah, uh, so really the only things you have to do are subscribe and comment below. Um, I will be checking the comments because there will be a link in the description below to where you actually have to enter. But, um, I can't actually make it to where, like, you have to comment and it shows up, so... Instead of that, you just subscribe, you'll be entered. If you win, I'll check if you commented, um, and then we'll go from there. So basically, the only thing you have to comment is, you have to answer this question. What is your favorite day that I posted so far here uh, on Inktober? So days 1 through, I guess, 25, because today's the 25th. Um, I suppose you could come back here on the other days um, to let me know what your other favorites are, but this contest will be running from right now, so when you're seeing this video and hearing me say these words, um, up until the 30th of October. So when the pre-orders end, so does this contest. So if you're interested in entering the giveaway, don't forget there will be a link in the description below. I'll have it all like, yo, giveaway here! So you can go check it out and uh, enter. But yeah, I thought it would be a fun way to kind of give back to you all and, um, you know, I don't really do giveaways that often. Um, I'm waiting for 10,000 subscribers to do my next, like, really big giveaway. But I thought I could do a small one and, uh, yeah. And I hope you guys enjoy my attempt at, uh, doing a giveaway, I guess. So anyway, let's talk about the piece a little more. So right now, after everything has really been shaded and I've already messed up that hair, the hair is what I wanted to tell you all about. Um, I am lining this piece and um, I'm using my Zebra Sensations brush pen and I really like this. They're really nice and I really like these types of brush pens that are just easier to control. So yeah, um, this piece was really simple. I've kind of decided to start doing more simple pieces because as this month wears on, I have less and less time and so I can't really spend too much time making a super elaborate piece where I spend like four hours on it. Let's be honest, I don't think I've ever spent four hours on a piece that wasn't like an oil or an acrylic painting. Um, but anyway, <laughs> point is I can't spend forever on a piece, so these aren't super elaborate, but I do still really like them. This one was fun. I got to play around with the pose and do something a little different and just generally have a lot of fun with it. And I don't know, I'm just, I'm happy with it. Again, there are things that I would do differently if I could, namely her hair, especially because it's raining, so her hair would have been more flat, but I'm just gonna say that she's just got really tangled hair, and so the rain can't even flatten it. It's just too much. <laughs> too much for the rain! But yeah, I I want to thank you all so incredibly much for being here, being, um, like, watching the video and uh, supporting me throughout this Inktober. There have been a lot of you that have really been supportive, and I appreciate it so incredibly much. You have no idea. Um, again, I the giveaway is just my way to give back to you all, and hopefully um, I can do more of these small types of giveaways in the future. I don't know, though, but we'll see. Um, if you aren't already a part of our Squid Pod and you are new here, there is a subscribe button down below and a bell button notification bell thing uh, next to that. If you click it, you get updated on when I upload new videos. Um, and if you are already following me over on my social media, I will be posting all of my uh, pieces over there. So if you want to go check them out, they will be in the description. 
And yeah, I'm just adding some final touches to the piece right now in the form of a gel pen. We'll be taking a look at the final piece in just a second. But yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and leave you all off with a thank you all so incredibly much for watching again. Um, and until next time, rather, until tomorrow, my adorable squidlings, toodaloo!